Hello everybody, this is a tutorial from Gotcha Ghost. I'm Joe. This tutorial is about the compact portal and this is basically what to do when you get it. How to set it up and turn it on and that sort of thing. So when you get the compact portal you'll notice in the back of the amplifier is a panel for the batteries. This carries six uh, AA batteries which provides power just for the amplifier that is independent of the two pedals that are connected to each side. These two pedals will run off of a battery pack that's connected to this splitter. Each end of the splitter is um, plugged into a pedal and then this end will plug into a battery pack that you'll get with it as well. It's a 9 volt battery pack with a negative tip. That's very important. If something happens to your battery pack, you need to get one from us or if you get another one from somewhere else or an AC power supply, just make sure it's 9 volts with a negative tip. That's really important. If you have a too many volts or you have a positive tip, you'll burn out the pedals real quick. So we just go ahead and plug this in, like so, and make sure the little switch is turned to the on position. Okay, when you do that, you can just set the battery pack down there. Each pedal will have a LED light. If the LED light's not on, just push the uh, on and off button there. Right here has one as well. So we've got those turned on. <coughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now is use the cable that comes with the, uh, the portal. It's got a small end on one end and a larger end on the other. You'll plug the small end into the headphone output of your spirit box, shack hack, or your smartphone. If you're using a smartphone with an application, uh, you just plug that into the headphone jack. Turn it on, of course. Now we're gonna plug the large end into the noise killer pedal where it says spirit box input. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the amplifier. Now the way I've got the amplifier set up here, I've got the level set at about a quarter and the volume set at about a quarter. Then I've got the EQ turned all the way up. You can play with these yeah, to your liking. This is how I usually set it up. The OD button, which is overdrive, is not pressed down. It's popped up. The delay level is turned all the way down and so is the delay because I'm not going to be using delay on this. The reverb pedal, depending on which kind you get, there's a couple of different kinds. One has uh, just one knob. I usually set that to about three quarters. This one is a little different. It has the one knob, but it also has the type of reverb switch. You can experiment with those. There's three different types. I push it all the way down on this particular one just because I like the sound of it. Now we're going to go ahead and start scanning our radio. Okay, and I'm going to use the noise killer with the switch up to the hard position and I'm going to use this knob here. If I turn it to the left, it lets all the sound through. If I turn it all the way to the right, it cuts out all the sound. So you want it somewhere in between. I personally like to leave a little bit of static noise, but not a whole lot. I can steer, still hear a little bit of static, but, I can, but uh, sound is still coming through. And that's pretty much how you do it. Now you can experiment how you like with the knobs and the volume and the EQ and such. This is my basic setup. Another thing, if you're using an app with a smartphone, you can turn the noise killer off because there's no static coming from an app. There's no noise. So you just go ahead and turn that unit off. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, give me an email at joe, well no, just at info at gotchaghost.com and I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks very much.